Welcome, my beautiful Aries. Here is your general forecast for March 22nd to the 28th. Starting off with your very first card, your all over energy, you've been given the broom. This is signifying that some of you might be moving to a new home or you might be looking at situations around you with a whole new perspective, a whole new attitude. So whatever you're doing this week, um, you might have to change things up. Maybe some information or some insights coming into you this week that's going to make you change how you're looking at it, how you've been thinking about it, what you've been believing about it. Uh, and, you know, I think you're going to be cleaning house. You're going to be sweeping out those cobwebs, sweeping out those things and the energy that isn't helping you move forward. I think you're creating a new home for yourself. Some of you could be actually geographically relocating to a different residence. Others, you could be maybe sweeping out the negative energy in it or uh, realizing that uh, you need to get down to business and look at a situation within that family circle in a different way. Your first energy card is the patience card and it's basically I would call this temperance in the traditional tarot and it signifies a need right now for some self-control and maybe some patience here as well. You might have to make adjust adjustments and do everything in moderation. Don't jump into the quicksand and then try to figure out how you're going to swim your way out of that muck and mire. So again, I think you're looking at things with a different and new attitude this week. Uh, there's going to be some changes, like I said, that are coming in to make you do that. You might be looking at things uh, with people around you in a different way too. All right, so step up, but take your time, do things with moderation, don't overindulge, don't react, and then regret if you're communicating with others. Here is my new, here is uh, uh, this, a beautiful, beautiful deck here, a beautiful card here, and this is the new deck, the messenger deck. And I want to give a shout out here to my beautiful friend and an honorable mention to Mary Murphy in Ireland for gifting me this lovely, beautiful deck. So, uh, I want to use it today. It's the first time I've used it. And you've got the peacock energy. And it says, new strength in relationships, whether old or new, is the message is, is the message the proud peacock is bringing to you. So, there's going to be some renewed energy. Uh, for those of you who are in a relationship right now, you're going to see a shift in that. You're going to see uh, something coming into you, some changes coming into you, right? Uh, and it could be for the better for some of you. And this is you strutting yourself, speaking your truth, stepping up there, showing your showing your world, the world your colors, and not being afraid to sing your song. So step up, my beautiful Aries. It's time for you to do that. It's time for you to get recognition. It's time for you to realize that you are going to be able to uh, see new strength in a relationship coming in towards you because you're voicing your opinion. You're looking at things with a new attitude. And it could be with a new relationship or it could be with a long-standing relationship. And look what follows that. What follows that is the ring, okay? And the ring is all about partnership. For some, it could actually mean a marriage coming in for you. For others, it's a commitment of contracts and the signing and the agreements. Something that runs in a circle, right? And, you know, something that's clinically reoccurring and, rep and, and is representative and repetitive in your life right now. Some of you might be signing legal documents. Some of you might be dealing with the judicial system or the military service. Uh, this is about liability for some of you, but there will be a strong bond between two people. And you're creating a mutual foundation at this time. And you're going to stay together on that basis. Okay, so this is about strengthening your relationships, your friendships, bringing something to conclusion that has, that has been lived for years, something you've been dealing with for a long time. Okay, and know that your relationships are going to grow and change over time. And I had said that here with the peacock, right? We had said new strength in relationships, whether old or new. So something's going to shift there for some of you within the family circle, within the harmony of a relationship as well. Now, your crowning energy is the emperor. And the emperor is, I really believe, this is you. 
you're finally stepping up. You're standing in your truth. You're standing in your power. You realize now that you're going to do what's right for Uno Numero, and that's you, Aries. It's time for you to step up and be this peacock. It's time for you to step up and and but have patience in the in the you know as well here while you're doing it. But I think you're going to step up and stand in your power here. Some of you may be going out solo. Maybe you're opening your own business. Maybe you're uh, deciding to go on your own. Maybe you're becoming your own boss. But he is a leader. And I do believe you're taking the leadership role now. You're stepping up and you're going to stand up for yourself and, and you're going to be a leader. Some of you could be asked to step up and take a leadership role as well. And don't be afraid to do that. Stand in your confidence now, Aries, and do it declare it own it you've got the queen of swords and the queen of swords is all about some of you cleaning house again as i said getting rid of things that no longer serve you and that could refer to toxic relationships toxic energy uh unhappy and toxic uh you know work uh your job your career for some of you you might be changing that up as well uh and uh you know you're moving on uh this often refers to in you know in the representation of this card as somebody who is solo could be female uh could be uh you know a widower a widow part of me or a divorcee uh but she's solo she's strong she's powerful she realizes she's going on her own now and she's charting her course this is her journey and in order to do that she had to walk away from something she had to let something go she had to release anything that was holding her back and and that's what you're going to do. You're walking on. You're wiping your hands clean of a situation, Aries. And now you're free to go forward in your own direction. You made a wish. And wishes are coming true here with the Nine of Cups. This is wishes fulfilled. And you've been dreaming and wishing and, and meditating and manifesting what it is you want. And now look what you're getting. Wishes are going to come true. How ironic coming down this same row here. You've got the death card. This is rebirth. Something is coming to a conclusion and it's going to open a brand new beginning. And you're, you need to observe it. You need to accept it. You need to embrace it. And you need to be happy about it. Because this was meant to be. When the death card shows up, it means it could be the end of anything. The end of a relationship. As I said, the end of a, of a contract. The end of, a, well, of your job. The end of uh, the, the negativity around you. Whatever it is you, you're walking away from, the death card shows up and says, bang, slam that door shut and open that new door you're coming into because it is a rebirth, a brand new way of looking at life, having that new attitude. And again, maybe some of you, it's moving to a new home. Talked about that here. And it's going to bring celebration. So something's coming into play here, my beautiful Aries. It's going to make you want to stand out and celebrate, getting recognition here. And it could be for your hard work and effort that you have been, uh, you know, advocating for, defending yourself for, standing up for, promoting yourself for. You're going to have reason here to celebrate. This is beautiful. And again, some of you might be relocating to a new home. This keeps showing up in this reading. You fought hard battle here. Okay, this is the the five of swords, and this means that uh, you had to you had to deal with something here, and it's almost as though you fought a hard battle, but you won it, and you shake your head now, and you say to yourself, you know, why did it have to come to this? Why did it have to you know why did it have to end this way? Uh, why couldn't we have been amicable and 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 compromised and been you know. Uh, you know, civil about a situation. But when you go in to fight a battle or a debate, you realize there's going to be risks and there's going to be consequences. But the bottom line here is whatever you have fought hard for has allowed you now to celebrate it. Okay, you win it. You've, you've done it. Uh, you know, it could be, uh, you know, yeah, it could have been a legal issue that you were fighting to or it could have been just something in the domestic part of your life. This tower moment shifted everything in your life. Okay, for some of you, it could be coming in for others. It may have happened. What it means is you're rebuilding a new foundation. You're not looking back with regret. You're moving forward and you're saying, hey, it's onward and upward for me. Perhaps there was a situation or a relationship that was on, you know, unsteady ground. It wasn't on in didn't have a secure foundation. Remember, you can't build a house on the sand. Okay, and whatever it was didn't last and it was inevitably going to crumble and crash. For others, it could have been a sudden blindsided situation that came into your life that shook your world, but not anymore because you are rebuilding a brand new foundation. And here you are with the three of wands, looking towards your goals, making your mark on the world, waiting for that ship to come in. 
that you have applied your time and effort into. Now, some of you could be uh, going the distance now uh, with something and beyond it to have it come to fruition. For others, you could actually be dealing with business overseas or you could be planning a trip, whether it's business or, uh, or pleasure. You've got the king of swords come oh, pardon me the king of wands coming in here for your final tarot card and it's saying that you need to continue staying focused this particular king looks at the outcome and the big picture he doesn't deal with all the menial little the trivial uh details in between uh he bypasses that and and the reason he gets he, he gets to that goal is because he stepped up like the emperor here he took control of what he wanted he is his own boss his own uh his own man here whether male or female i think you're taking on that power now and still Staying focused, going for that ultimate goal you want, whether it's in the emotional or the material part of your life, is what's going to help you, lead you to this, this celebration and the, your, you know, your wishes fulfilled here. Okay, let's do some clarification with our Emperor. You know, all cards have been shuffled. Spirit has thrown them out on my desk and also told me when to stop shuffling these. I want to make that clear. I've had people say to me, why don't you shuffle your cards in front of us? Because I have so many cards to shuffle for 12 signs. It would take forever to get these videos out. So please know that I shuffle them prior. I ask Spirit to throw them out on the desk. These are the cards Spirit give me and I go with it. Okay, the Emperor. What have you got? You've got the Ace of Cups. Very emotional time for you. Okay, but this could be new love, rekindled love, the feeling of love for something or somebody. It's beautiful. It could be a new romance coming into some of you as well. Or, you know, because you're stepping up and being your own individual leader here, uh, this is something that you've been wanting to manifest and it's coming to, you, 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 it's coming to, to fruition. Leaving things behind with the Queen of Swords, you've got the Page of Rods. Something's coming in new. It could be the offer of an opportunity coming in, and you need to keep your eyes open for it. The Wands are all about progression, going towards action, going towards what it is you want. And this particular page brings you some information, brings you this insight, brings you this opportunity to keep your eyes open and go towards the goals that you want. And that's where you're headed here, towards your cups filling. You've got the King of Swords on top of that, standing up for your truth, not backing down. You're not going to roll over anymore now. You're not going to, You're. it's about you now. Okay, Aries, step up, stand into your power, take that leadership role. This is fight and might now time. And you want something here very badly and, it's, and you're going to get it because you're standing up for your own truth and integrity. And you're moving on. Yeah, you're moving on with the King of Cups. King of Cups comes in after the, after, boy, Page King. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm getting tongue-tied because I am so excited for you. The King of Cups comes in. Somebody's around you that's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody's around you and they're advocating for you. They're in your end of the ring. They're loyal. They're there to soothe and console and help you and give you advice. Why aren't, you, aren't you lucky? This new, this new beautiful emotional energy is coming into you as you move forward into your new beginning. Take that advice because it's heartfelt. They mean it from the bottom of their heart. They're charitable. Now, some of you could be moving on to some sort of uh, action here by going and doing something and, take, and doing a charitable act yourself, giving to those less fortunate, your celebration card. And you want to know why you're celebrating? Look what lands on that. The devil card, the card of decisions, of getting rid of what no longer serves you. You're freeing yourself. You're moving yourself out of a negative situation and something that's been holding you back from being happy and celebrating. And this, again, is why you're going to be able to celebrate. Something's going to end a toxic situation around you that's dragged you down, held you back, and you're moving on, making all those beautiful, new, healthy choices for yourself. On top of your Five of Swords, you've got that Sun. Yes, the best card in the deck. This is the return of good emotional and physical good health and all over well-being. This is being able to look at a situation now in a very, very happy emotional way. This is being able to know that your path is being illuminated and finally there's light at the end of the tunnel. Wow. Your tower moment. What have we got? We have the Emperor again. 
Okay, so you and the reason that you're you're able to rebuild this new foundation, your new home, your new whatever, it could be a residence, a home, a new business, a new job, is because you did it on your own. You said, uh, this is about me. I'm taking the leadership role. I'm going to be my own person, my own boss. I'm going to take responsibility now for me and only me. And now you're rebuilding that beautiful foundation. Gorgeous. Leadership role. The three of wands, you've got the four of cups. <clears throat> Pardon me. You've got the six of cups. So there could be somebody returning from your past in the distance. Or you could be um, connecting with someone that way could be somebody who's been around you for a very long time and you haven't been able to get in touch or be in touch or see each other physically. This could also be somebody returning from your past as far back as your childhood. Maybe you're reconnecting with friends. Maybe you're, you found somebody out on social media that said, hey, I haven't seen you in ages. Let's get together. You could also be sitting down and communicating with your children. Uh, this could have to do with children or maybe you're a teacher and you and you're communicating and mentoring and teaching children. This is also the card that says uh, you need to tap into your fun side. You need to tap into your inner child now and look at life better in that happier, jovial, innocent through the innocence of the eyes of a child. With your staying focused king here, you've got the ten of wands. You know, you pushed hard. You fought hard. You took on all this responsibility and work and, and now it's over. Okay, you're not the beast of burden anymore. You don't have to take on other people's battles, other people's drama, other people's burdens anymore. This is over. And all because you fought hard, but you stood up for yourself here. You stayed focused and you weren't going to back down. Wow. Amazing. So you got the sun, the best card in the deck. Wow. Beautiful rekindled love or new love coming into some of you. Be patient right now. I think you're going to see a beautiful, beautiful new future coming into you here, looking at things with a new attitude. And some of you are actually relocating to a new, not only a new life, but a new home. Beautiful. I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here, Aries, to look forward to. And always remember, the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. So remember that they, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed, want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and we'll all see each other soon.